Now, your weather forecast with meteorologist Jasmine Lomax. Welcome back and happy Thursday. We are in for a very nice fall day, but starting off a little bit chilly right now. We're sitting at 55 and quite a few clouds in the picture. We're seeing a little bit of sunshine peek through, but throughout the day, expect some more sunshine uh, going into the afternoon. Now, right now, feel like temperatures are in the 50s and the 60s. New Road's a little bit cooler at 54. Gonzalez at 63. New Orleans at 65 at this hour. Now, over the course of the day, our temperatures are going to continue to rise into the 60s by 10 a.m., and then we continue to rise into the 70s, looking at a high for the day of around 76. That's exactly where we should be this time of year. But going into the nighttime hours, we will start to cool down, and those clouds will gradually move out of the picture. We're staying mostly clear. That's going to allow our temperatures to drop into the 50s. Now, today will be nice and comfortable. Our winds are out of the northeast, and that's going to add to that comfort factor. We're sitting in that pleasant range, but going forward, we'll start to feel a little more muggy. Tomorrow, comfortable, so not too bad. But then on Saturday, we are in that sticky range. Now, not only are our dew points going to gradually increase, but our temperatures are also going to warm up. So that's something to keep in mind and it's going to be our main headline. Over the next seven days, our temperatures are gradually rising into the upper 70s and even the lower 80s in some areas. We'll also see the potential for a few showers this weekend and our eyes are on Ada. That system has the chance to uh, make some impacts here in the United States. Now right now we're nice and quiet on the satellite and radar. Our weather is being dominated by this high pressure system over Mississippi. Our winds are out of the northeast and we're nice and dry. We'll stay that way tomorrow tomorrow as well. But after that, we'll start to see our winds shift to a more easterly to southeasterly flow. We'll draw in some more moisture, and that means that we could see some showers in the picture. So keeping rain chances at zero today and tomorrow, but going forward, they'll start to rise a little bit. 30 on Saturday and Sunday. Now, we are not expecting either of these days to be washouts, but if you have any outdoor plans, a good idea to check the radar before you head out. Now, in terms of rain totals, really not much. Less than an inch in our area around New Orleans and the coast, an inch and a half or less. Now, the highest totals that you see, that's all associated with Ada and the rain that it could bring to our area. Now, right now, Ada has uh, been downgraded to a tropical depression. Winds are at 30 miles per hour and it's still located over Honduras. However, it is expected to reemerge into the Caribbean. Once that happens, it will have access to warm water. That's just going to add fuel to the system, allowing it to strengthen possibly into a, a tropical storm. And it looks like we just got the latest update of tropical depression. Ada, and now the model does have it moving into the Gulf, possibly by next Monday or Tuesday. Something to keep in mind now. Right now, spaghetti models uh, really not in agreement on where we could see the system move. So something to stay weather aware about over the coming days. A lot of time still, though, to monitor this system. Today, rising to about 76. Overall, a nice fall day with a mix of sunshine and clouds. Very seasonable, very comfortable as well. Then overnight, we're dropping to about 55. Most Mostly clear outside, and that's going to allow our temperatures to fall into the 50s. Starting off a little bit chilly in the morning, but going forward, expect our low temperatures and our high temperatures to increase. Now, we've partnered with iHeartRadio Baton Rouge to give you your weather on the go, and this is what we're looking at over the next few days. The main thing is that our temperatures are gradually going to warm up. 79 tomorrow, then on Saturday, back down into the mid 70s. However, there is that chance for a few passing showers. And on Sunday, once again, another chance for passing showers. But we're looking at temperatures very close to that 80 degree mark. Now we'll get to the 80s on Monday. We're talking 81 with a mix of sunshine and clouds. Then on Tuesday, 82. That's when our next front is going to arrive. Keeping rain chances at 20 because ahead of that front, we could see a passing shower or two. It's going to lead to some cooler temperatures by Wednesday. We're at 80 for Veterans Day. But after that, look for temperatures to slowly climb back down into the 70s. So overall, I'm starting off a little bit warm, but next week there's 